Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel guys. Today I am going to do a crazy video where I'm just going to try to see if I can get Piper into one of these sleepers. I don't know which one will fit, but I'm going to try both on and then um, decide which one she wears. Um, guys, if you're new to this channel, I would appreciate it if you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Um, there's a couple things. If you're looking for different ways to follow me, if you're not always on YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram. My Instagram name is the same here. I'm also trying to build my Instagram following up. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers. No, 10,000 followers on Instagram. So my Instagram is Miss Serenity Smith. Miss Serenity underscore Smith um, or something. Yeah. And <laughs> um, and then also, guys, um, yeah, I'm in the chatter box. So if you like live live streams, um, we can do the chatter box. I do that at least once a month. Sometimes I do exclusive uh, content. Sometimes I show babies their first Um that may not show on this channel right away. That is something new that I'm also doing as well um, because this hobby is such an outlet for me. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes for me, life just gets so stressful until I just feel like I can't breathe almost. And sometimes I don't want to eat, you know, you know, you just, you know, you just, life just, we got so much going on and so I just kind of escape with my dolls and just for that moment, if it's just however long that video is, if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes, my brain kind of clicks off from every other problem, issue, concern, anything that's going on with me, my family, friends, just in social media, period. It just bloop, is gone while I'm doing my videos. But anyway, let me tell you guys who the babies are in this video. So, um, this baby here is Brie. She is the Evie Sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. Um, <laughs> I actually was wanting to put her on a new diaper because I got some new diapers in the other day. And so, that's why she doesn't have her little pants on and I just left her there. And, um, and then I think I will keep Brie. <laughs> I like Brie. Um, and then, um, of course, you guys know Aspen. And Aspen is the Aspen Sculpt by uh, Claire Teller. Um, and his kits will be, his pre-order will be starting pretty soon. Um, but I, um, what was I going to say? <laughs> I forgot. Anyway, um, and then this is Piper. Piper is Half Pint by Marita Winters. And of course, again, she's painted by me. And her hair is not properly rooted. I know that I was being funny. I when I saw her when I got through painting her, it was the craziest thing. I looked at her and I said, She looked like she would be a hairy baby. So me and my brainy ideas decided I would just root her some baby hairs in the front of her hair. So when she wears a hat, it'll look like she was rooted. Well, my impulsive behavior led me to go a little bit further. And then I was like, well, maybe she need a little, you know, little top piece up here, a little curl at the top so she can put a bow on sometime. And then I was like, well, if I root just enough hair to lay down, she, you know, just to swoop over, it will look like she's fully rooted. So... That's the story there. So, yeah, I know she's not, like, <laughs> really rooted, rooted. Um, I can always go back in. She is sealed, though. I can go back in and finish rooting her at any given point. But I like her just how she is. She's she's my, my play baby. Um, but she's only 15 inches. And so she's really, she's a tiny little girl. But she's a good size still. Um... She can wear the up to five pound clothes from Carter's, which is really nice. And she can fit some regular preemie stuff as well, which is really nice. Um, but 
Do you want to go up? Go up a little bit. Um, I love, I, I just really love her. So I am going to see. This came with a cuddle body once before. And I, I was like, let me see if she can fit this little balloon outfit. But I doubt, doubt it because I think it's newborn size. But I thought it was so cute. So we just for giggles, we will try this on her. Um, I have so many kids, guys, that I am expecting. And I'm just so excited about it. But I, um, I don't know. When you get to like. I guess like I'm getting to the end of my customs and it's like I'm getting anxious to finish them but I have to be careful not to get too anxious and rush so I'm not rushing but I am anxious to finish them because that means I get to go on with other projects um I actually been even forgetting about some of the babies that I have here that needs to be painted um, so when I get there, I don't even know which order I'm going to go when I'm done. I just know that there you go. Oh, look at you. She's so sweet. <laughs> and this colors look so good on her. Like I was going to put her on a little hat. And that's another reason why I wanted her to be rooted because I didn't want to have to always find her a hat. So, um, one day I'm going to finish it, but I could put her on a hat, but I just, I, I like her. She don't have to have a hat on because her hair is like, even though it's sparsely rooted. And then these, um, preemie pacifiers, I love these, um, they're quite expensive for me they're like 12 bucks for one um i think it's for one or two but i'm gonna magnetize it for her eventually because i think she this is the proper size for her so that would be cute um aspen can almost fit it but it's too narrow but his mouth is open so I could actually like bend this part in if I wanted to see, you know, we always trying to make something work. See, I actually, all I did was bend the, the nipple in. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hang on. So all I did with him is just bend the nipple in and it's in his mouth because he has an open mouth. So that was pretty cool. So that's that one. So when you guys get your Aspen kits, um, just know if you want, there are certain pacifiers if you want them. Like if you want to use the, one of these pacifiers on them, um, you can just bend the nipple. Let me see. Let me show you. I didn't ruin my nipple either. See, it's still there. I just took it and bent the the T part, the little bubble at the end, I bent it like, wait. So I bent it like that and then put it in his mouth. So that worked. <laughs> um, but yeah, as far as her, she would need a magnet. Um, so yeah. But yeah, they, they're pretty cute. Okay, so I'm gonna try her on this other outfit really quickly. And then I'll probably put her back on this because I kind of like this one. This other one is up to 7 pounds Old Navy. So I'm going to put that on her. Um, this, this particular kit is very petite. It's a very skinty, very skinty um, sculpt. But this, in my opinion, is what real micro preemie babies that's born around 29, 28, you know, weeks are really they're they're i mean i'm sure it's some that is fat there's always an exception to the rule but from my recent experience and just seeing from searching and researching they are so they're like they're not they're not fat babies they're usually little tiny 
petite little babies um, when they're so underdeveloped at that point. And they are usually, you know, not the most, um, like I said, they're not filled out as much. So their features, you know, like their eyes and different things may seem a little big for them, their hands and their feet and stuff because they're going to grow into it. They hadn't had the full chance to fully develop like a newborn baby would have a little bit. No, this don't work. See, look at that. <laughs> this does not work. You see that? That's absolutely a no. No, 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 and no, no. Um, But the up to five pounds fit her like so well. Um... And I was also, um, H&M has, uh, the zero month. I think it's, uh, and sometimes it says preemie or PM or PB or some, something like that. Zero month. That actually fits her really well as well. Um, which is what I originally wanted to put her on, but couldn't, um, I didn't find it. But this, because it has like the little rubber in the legs and stuff it was fitting her pretty good so I'm going to put this back on her because I like it I like feet out sleepers more than I do feet in sleepers um, I think the little babies the best part about them is um, zoom in a little bit more into her I think the best part about the the little babies is um, finding them clothes. Like at first, I used to look at it as being something frustrating, but then I actually start to enjoy being on a hunt for the little clothes for the little ones that look as nice as the other ones. Cause like I don't want them to look dolly or you know, just look thrown off or like they're wearing like cheapy looking clothes. So, you know, finding clothes makers that make clothes for them is nice. I like Pat Doodle's um, stitch work and when she sew things, um, she does more like vintage type stuff or old style clothes. But like when you if you get something like custom made or whatever, she pretty much can make anything you ask. I used to, I was buying from um, Sarah, but I think her prices actually, they were already pretty expensive. And I think she just took another spike and went up again. So I haven't really been um, checking her out anymore, but it's not to say that I won't still buy you know, sometimes once people get um, pretty popular and stuff, they they can charge more for their their work. And like I said, I always say, you know, I can't I can't knock no one's hustle. And you know, everybody's um, selling stuff to make money. They're not doing it just because they just want to be great and give to society. Um, they, they are trying to make money, so I can't, you know, I can't fault them for that. But if, like I said, if it's something that I really, really want, I would definitely still buy, but I'm, I try to find little things that might fit out of the store. That's regular price, um, you know, or sale price or whatever, but that's not like custom stuff. Cause like custom made stuff. You know, specifically, is so much expensive. Um, some of her uh, up to five pound stuff is like seven dollars for an outfit. Versus, if I go and have something made or buy something that's custom made for a specific size in the within the doll community, you're gonna pay like twenty five, thirty, forty bucks for one outfit. That's like overkill. But it'd be so cute, and sometimes it's you know it's just worth it. But if I can save myself money I won't I I do spend a lot on my dolls or the stuff that I use for my dolls um and sometimes even accessories so I try not to 
spend as much on clothes but everybody have their their thing and what they like to do and i i definitely don't judge from there but anyway that is my little one these are my my sweet babies and i just wanted to share them and i don't i know i need to share evie more but um i want to just call her evie but she, i named her brie but yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video um it definitely did me a little good to calm down now i gotta go back to reality see you guys later thanks for watching